A lot is happening in the AI space in medicine at the moment. And there is a lot of hype and predictions about the role that AI will play in healthcare in the future. But one thing is certain, there is already an extremely powerful tool that thousands of doctors are safely using to help them with one of the most boring parts of being a doctor. And that is documentation. So using those two trusty index fingers to pick and peck at our worn out dusty keyboards in our little GP practices. And although this may may sound hard to believe, I actually still know doctors who spend more time writing up their notes than actually interacting with their patients. For those of you that don't know me, I'm Dr. Mike, a GP working in Perth, Western Australia. And in this video, we will be talking about the three ways that AI is changing GP consults. And we will be doing this with the help of the kind sponsor of this video, Lyrebird Health and AI Scribe. And we will talk a bit more about them later on in this video. Number one is time management. When I meet people who don't know I'm a GP and we end up talking about GPs in general. I pretty much always hear the same things. Yeah, my GP is really nice, but why can't they ever run on time? The very first human problem that AI is trying to help us solve is the need to write comprehensive and contemporaneous notes in a very limited amount of time. Long gone are the days where GPs could write one-liners in the notes and I still occasionally see these one-liners when I'm going through patients' files. Present Presenting complaint, cough, treatment, amoxicillin. Next. Nowadays, our medical boards and medical defense organizations set out clear standards to which our medical notes must comply. You have to document the history, the examination, the investigations, the management, the red flag symptoms, and follow up at a clinically appropriate time. All the while ensuring that the patient sitting in front of us actually feels listened to and their ideas, concerns, and expectations fully addressed and validated. So what commonly ends up happening is as GPs, we are so focused on our keyboards and on our computer screens and trying to squeeze in as many notes as possible that we sometimes actually forget that there is a suffering human being in front of us that needs our help. What AI scribes like Lyrebird do is they write up the medical note for us just by listening to that conversation that happens between a GP and their patient. Now, if you have never tried AI scribes before, I promise you, you will be absolutely amazed by the result and very likely never look back. Number two is medical legal compliance. Our medical notes not only help us map out what we think is happening with the patient that we're seeing and also what we are proposing to do to help that patient, but they are also a record for any healthcare provider that sees that patient after us because we want to ensure some degree of continuity of care. That way, everyone that's involved in that patient's journey will know what has happened before and what needs to happen next. But sometimes, despite our best efforts, things can go wrong and patients can have undesirable outcomes or suffer adverse events. The expectation of the quality of care that doctors should be delivering is actually very high. And to be honest, rightly so. And so when things go wrong, patient complaints start coming in. And the first thing your medical defense organization is going to do is they are going to look at your medical notes. Did you examine the patient? Did you ask about red flags? Did you ensure that that patient had a follow-up that was specified and clinically appropriate? Now, the vast majority of us GPs do all of those things, but sometimes we just get so busy, and especially if you can see that there are already three patients in the waiting room waiting for you, that we simply forget or omit to document things that we have actually done. Now we can get flustered and take little shortcuts in our documentation, quickly bring in that next patient and just hope that nothing goes wrong. But with an AI scribe, if you say something, if you safety net, if you ask about red flags, if you speak out loud the examination findings of the examination that you have conducted, well then all of those things will be in your medical notes. And trust me, your medical defense organization will thank you for it. Now number three is preventing mental fatigue. Now, this last one is a little bit more of a personal reason why I have really enjoyed using AI scribes in my day-to-day -day practice. Like many early to mid-career GPs, I do tend to work long days, and I can sometimes work 9 to 10 plus hours a day, seeing 3 to 4 patients an hour. I am also a touch typer, and I tend to write quite comprehensive notes. And so the first thing that I noticed after a few sessions with my AI scribe is that I was feeling considerably less fatigued at the end of my day. I mean, 
mean, I was obviously still feeling tired, but I wasn't exhausted. My conservative estimate is that I felt at least 20% less fatigued at the end of a long shift. And I feel that through that, my last patients were actually getting a better service from me. Now, the second thing I noticed, and this is a little bit embarrassing and probably a bit telling when it comes to my age, is that my fingers actually ached a lot less when I was using my AI scribe than when I was touch typing every single consult. And so for me, that is a win-win. Before we finish off here, thanks again to our sponsor, Liarbird Health, who wants to help clinicians focus on what matters most, actually caring for patients. Liarbird Health comes from building with clinicians and not just for them. From asking the hard questions, testing in real workflows, and working closely day in and day out to make something safe, fast, and invisible enough that it actually fits into their day. That's been their mindset from day one. Don't just build the best AI scribe. Build a trusted partner clinicians can bring into the console room every day. Liarbird's unique selling points is that all data is stored locally in Australia and for the UK is stored locally in the UK. Compliance is their priority, not just a medical scribe. You can generate PDFs or even navigate the chronic disease management changes with the chronic condition management workflows. It's also the exclusive AI scribe for best practice. Now, if you have any issues, feel free to leave a comment below or get in touch directly. I would strongly suggest giving it a try. There are all always free trials around and setup is basically as simple as pressing a single button. Otherwise, good luck. <laughs>